Hello everyone and welcome back to the top 8 of the Bochum Regionals. We have accomplished 14 long and difficult rounds of Swiss, so Swiss and we narrowed down to the top 8 and um, somehow always, all the time the players we pick to feature on stream they do really really well and exactly. we have to feature them again. Exactly. So we have two players that actually were on stream earlier today on the one hand, we have Raz Wolpe from Israel versus Kim Popega from Italy, and yeah, let's take just take a quick look at Raz's accomplishments yeah, exactly. in the last last few years, uh, because I think it's really just worth taking yeah. just taking a look. Like he's from Israel, right? Exactly. They don't have really have competitive Indeed. scene. Yeah, so they don't have organized play. I think. Yeah, they need to come over to the European events and maybe even go to the. Um, like in, in neighboring countries, they yeah. have to travel a lot. Yeah, they have to which travel a lot, which shows their commitment yeah, to this and game. Then when you travel to these regionals, you also have to perform to like secure your invite and make it worth it for you. Exactly. So we see like second at regionals from Harrogate and like at good performances at yeah. several internationals and yeah, yeah a he's solid player. He's I would really say. solid, and On I actually. I was kind of surprised. It seems like the first time we featured him today was one of his first appearances yeah. on stream. It was his first I appearance. I was totally really surprised by that, actually. I could hear him through the, uh, the headset, and he was saying, uh, he was joking with uh, Tor, oh, is this your first time too? Well, I don't think it is. <laughs> on the other hand, instead, we have uh, Kim Pobega from Italy, a good friend of mine. And look at this. He's a solid player too. He never got maybe too high in terms of uh, what they accomplished. They got a top four at Bolzano at the special That's event. That's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, but he did get pretty solid performance overall. Top 64 at internationals, regionals. Yeah. I would say... What I like to look at, like, not... I, I like to look at not the outbreak performances, but yeah. like rather the consistency. Indeed, like, indeed. Oh, like how players have performed. Um, like over the course of several events so because you can do well at one event due to like poor luck as we already have the game set up yes, actually we and the prize cards so let's just switch the prizes we haven't actually talked about the matchup but yes. you probably know Rez is playing a Mewtwo and a Mew tag team and Kim is playing his iteration of Pikachu and Zekrom tag yes, team exactly so we see them both players set up look at that beautiful sleeves the right match in my pin right here with an executor and we're about ready to start so why don't we switch just to the main game and we see go. Kim starting with uh, Jirachi, while well, Rats always is streaming and always starting with a yeah. Megalopani. He just really likes it, which is actually probably the best attacker in this matchup, I would say. Yeah, he's just he's attaching a rainbow energy. I can't see the rest of the Oh, yeah. it's wow, just an just attach passes. and a pass. I'm pretty sure Kim really likes this, but I don't think his hand is really good as well. He right away goes for a Stellar Wish, which is never... I mean, sometimes it's a good sign, Starting but let's see. He is starts like with a already judge better. and a Thunder Mountain Thunder Mount there. in there, so wow. he could Thunder go Mountain. for the, Like, you could really hard commit and go for turn one full blitz. Oh, he might just instead choose... He does, he does start with two catchers, I think, and a, I think a tag call. So he could get, if he wants, um, just set up. You know, Volkner, yeah. Energy, such a good I mean, such there's a good no supporter. pressure on him, right? Because Rez just attached and pass. Like, yeah. sometimes that can happen with the Mewtwo decks. When you get, like, like you play a oh. lot of cards that you actually can't put on the... F is there, is he gonna grab the wait, wait and, and see hammer? hammer. <laughs> <laughs> he just says, well, <laughs> what you just did last turn? Yeah, let's it's wait and gone. see. <laughs> <laughs> let's look. Rats is just nodding and saying, well, that's a fair play. Wait and see hammer is a card. And he says, yep, <laughs> that's happening. And as well, a tag call from Kim. That's really good right now. Yeah, searching it out his main attack as yes. his main Pokemon. So let's see. Maybe he doesn't want to Dedenne as well for the simple fact that Megalopani gets boosted for each Jax you have in play. Mm -hmm. And just three Jaxes in play yeah, means it's knocked out. I think here you just attach and yeah. then you hold it because yes. there's like no way that Raz can apply uh, a lot of pressure Aye. on the next turn. Like the be the worst thing that could come is maybe like 120 from a Sogaleo with Turbo Strike mm -hmm. in the best case scenario yes. if his top deck is like insane. Yeah. Because the thing about Mewtwo is, right, you have a lot of cards that are actually... my Hala as well. That so you want to end up in the discard pile, right? Exactly. You have a lot of stage 2 GXs or yeah. stage 1 GXs that you want to put in the bin and then never see the light of day again. But Indeed. if you start all of them, or, uh, or like a bunch of unplayable <laughs> cards and no Dedenne, mm -hmm. um, then you're in a really tough spot. Actually, I think yeah, he has yeah, a let's take at a least look. He has another yeah. rainbow energy in his hand. Indeed. Um, Rat's hand looks like two skateboards, a hood, two rainbow energies, and a Pokemon. 
That's not what you want to have. No, Absolutely. no, there's no, literally no possible way to draw any more cards. He, yeah, no draw power. He also has two Jirachi prize, one Dedene. He runs to two Dedenes only, so he needs a Cherish Ball or something. He's a great catcher, which he could get, you know, just denying the Stellar Wish of uh, yeah. him. But is that good? Yeah, I mean, it puts the Picaro actually in the active, so... Rainbow Energy. I don't like... I, I wouldn't like to see yeah. that because... Kim has the win in hand, because he has an Electro Power, right? I mean, he needs... Yeah, he can't just tag board for 230. And that's game. And that would be game, but let's first see what Indeed. Rest does. Maybe... Indeed. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm really not sure what he could do. Yeah, maybe pr maybe you're right, and uh, the game is just going to end on the, catcher. on the next turn, yeah. That's also all his rainbows gone. So if the game keeps going, yeah, he's just so far behind right wow. now because his hand has not been coped. Oh, Ooh, he could the he mega lock, but he has the switch in hand, Kim, and he can also use Manhala for the tool. Yeah. Wow. Kim just has this uh, game like set up for him. He, you see, he's yeah. he did not waver at all as soon as he saw the tails because he understands he has a switch in Guzman Hala. So if he does play one copy of the unit energy. Mm -hmm. The uh, lining uh, uh, psychic and metal, I think it is. <laughs> as you see, as we see, like he plays the good yeah. mana <laughs> and discards the other custom uh, picture. <laughs> Raz is a bit confused. He's like, what? Like, where are we going with this? And there's the energy. And he has the Thunder Mountain in hand, which mm -hmm. just means the game is over. Does he? Ha he has an Electro Power, yeah, right? Yeah, he does an Electro Power with two um, enterprises. Yeah. Wow, Switch. what an insane hand for Kim. Yeah. Electro Power and Thunder Mountain and Switch. Yeah, I mean, he grabbed the Thunder Mountain of the Stellar Wish, but the rest was like, yeah. yeah. Thunder Mountain? Electro Power! And Raz is like, uh, okay, oh, alright. And game one game is two. already over. Oh, wow. Oh my god. So sad for Raz. He just had a very consistent game in both uh, um, in both games before against Stored, against a titan of the game. Yeah. And right now, he goes against Kim, Mistake a player about of his caliber, and... The pressure starts Yeah, sometimes the, the deck is just not yeah, cooperating. You just don't draw the cards. Like, yeah. he could have started Jirachi, he could have had one of his tag call or Cherish Ball or anything in his Everything hand. Everything went wrong. Yeah, some, but sometimes, like, if you go to a big tournament, if you play like 15 plus rounds, mm -hmm. you're prepared to, like, have s something like this will happen at it some will point. Happen. Unfortunately, it's here in the this top meta eight. is just sometimes somewhat not consistent. But I, I mean, it happens in all matters, yes, right? Yes, like exactly. Sometimes and it's just... And you have to be able to bounce back and give yourself um, the best chance of winning after that. So, um, yeah, as we see, Kim up 1-0 versus Rez. And uh, Rez is probably going to go first yeah, so here. And going yeah, first, up hopefully, until now. Hopefully bounce back and maybe give yeah. us a little bit of a better uh, game. Maybe a game to commentate <laughs> and not just, oh well, Kim just has everything. Uh. Let's see. So, obviously, Mewtwo against Picarom. We had that matchup also in the past meta, mm -hmm. and the Picarom, and it was always 50 50, because Picarom could have later in the game, you know, Raichu, mm -hmm. 160 paralyzed, even if you tag Purge, the, the paralyzed goes and through. And then you go Stamp Plant, right? Stamp Plant, and that's it. But right now, you do have outs to that. People play the Marsh Shadows, more copies yes. of them because of Chaotix, well. Yes. And Raza hopefully puts his prizes so we can see them. But in any case, um, <laughs> if you he's think shaking of, yeah, his head. <laughs> doing that. And, uh, but right now they have Malo and Lana. Yeah. They can go for the later game and survive. They also have the Jirachis. So they Malo and Lana onto the Jirachi. The Paralyze is gone. And if they find the counter supporter, the Mewtwo is going to attack again. Yeah, you have, you have a little bit more outs. And I yeah. also... Um, what can swing this match? Well, what what swings this matchup really heavily is like the 300 from the Charizard GX yes, for exactly. for energy. Like turn if you go if you go if you gone. go first, like you attach an energy and turn two, you go Welder, great catcher. The Pikazek your opponent is trying to set up and, atta and attack into it. Then your opponent needs like everything, everything at once, literally everything. But um, and yeah, also most likely they won't be able to come back yeah. from it. Megalopani as well. 240, you cannot spam those Dedenes that you did before. Yeah. Before Bikram was so consistent. Actually, we only see one Dedene yes. GX in Kim's so list, so that's Kim interesting. Taste, tested this deck a lot, and we just said, all right, Megalopani and Keldeo are the two worst enemies, because Keldeo for Scoutics, well, is a pain. You mm -hmm. cannot deal with it, mostly. Yes. So we just decided, well, against Keldeo, you need to find some, uh, so another out, because we do not play um, any, any other uh, like single prize attackers. We just have a Tapu Koko in case if we need to attack with it. Um, and, but we do play the Marshadow and two power plants. So in that case, 
we try to get out in that way. But look at this, Rats Volpe starting over the Stellar Wish. This time he has the Jirachi, and I think his end is also better than last time. And he has uh, also got, um, ooh, an energy there. But that's fair, because the Absol is in play. Yeah, so you want to be able to retreat to and retreat. give yourself One the more option for another Stellar Beautiful. Wish. Okay, okay. Ooh, but, oh, wow, Malo and Lana. I mean, no cards to draw anymore. Rats, please, he just had an amazing game. And he gets the stealthy, good, fair enough. Yeah, Maybe he just he beat the Titan Tord on stream yeah. earlier, and now like the deck is just not working for him. That's so unfortunate. That's so sad. Absolutely. Like in, in general, Mewtwo is like con I con I yeah. would consider it a pretty consistent deck. I mean, it's not it's not always exploding on turn two. Exactly, but, but when it at does. least you have yeah. When it does, it's really great. But w even when it doesn't, you still have outs to win the game because you can draw cards with Melo and uh, yeah. with uh, Cynthia and Caitlyn and recover stuff, and you are able to thin out your deck quite Indeed. early in into it and leave yourself with like only cards that you actually want. So. I would consider it it, it's, it a quite a consistent yes, deck. It is very like consistent. Jirachi as well. Yeah, Jirachi yeah. helps with the consistency. Like some lists even don't even play Jirachi like Tord. Yeah, like Tord but with relies on just milling your deck. Basically, for the Dene's, for Hapu, just you want those cards. You want cards in the discard and you want cards in your hand. The Dene and Hapu give you that. While Red's build is a bit slower, I would say, but at the same time tries to be a bit more aggressive in terms of attack. While yeah. um, Torch was more resourceful with the you know, Turbo Strike, setting up for many attacks. Instead, Rats just wants to have one Mewtwo that is going to give win you the game, which is a fair strategy because Mewtwo is so strong, yeah. so many abilities. And, and you're actually, very flexible. Yeah, Rats started again with Chujirachi in the prizes. Uh, Kim's prizes do not seem as awful. And, uh, but Rust still had these two Jirachis on the board. He discarded the Greninja last turn, mm -hmm. which is actually interesting, the GX, if you're able to pull it off. It yeah, does I set back. I think we saw that uh, back at Cologne Regions, which was actually really funny. I remember being on stream, like when Tord used the GX attack from Greninja to just put, uh, like Philip ha yeah. had a, had a Pika Zek on board with like four energy, four and Tord was like, okay, All right. it goes back to your hand. <laughs> Attach yeah. it now. <laughs> we'll place it from your hand. You can't. There that was go. actually really funny. Yeah, so the GX attack is pretty versatile, yes. but you usually want to use and other ones before they, before, because yeah. they're just more powerful. Exactly. The Pika Rom, um, Obviously, it's always better to knock it out with a 300. Sometimes you can't, but bouncing it back, especially against ADP or Picrom that needs this energy acceleration, as we said before, we noticed that there are many free attackers, like free energy attackers mm -hmm. in the meta, and obviously the GX, it's really helpful. Uh, so Kim right now is just attaching uh, Volkner, that's all you want in turn one. And next turn, if he does have the Tundra Mountain in the deck, which he does, he has the Guzman Ala, so he gets the way to retreat and a way also to do Full Blitz turn two, which is the dream for any pick on yeah. player. So, Rats, what is he doing right now? He does have a Malo and Lana, two Jirachi at his disposal. He should flip for the one, but I don't think that's going to manually retreat any time, because he also is going to uh, start It's going to go back to sleep, oh so my it's God. fine. Oh my God. Is that not a Not a lot of stuff. In the Stellar Wish, I can't see the card actually. I think it's a tag team supporter, but it's yes. not a Sentry and Caitlyn, probably, so you won't be able to draw it much just, more. I cards. think it's a Malin Lana. I yeah, also some I blue think so in there. Too. Yeah, it just says, Welp, I'm not gonna do that. He does play two copies and he has one in hand, so he's thinking, yeah. there it is, it's a Malin Lana indeed. Yeah, so he's actually not playing any uh, Cynthia and Caitlyn in his oh, list, really? which is really interesting because then, like, I mean, the Tag team supporter are so situational, right? Um, and you really want to have something that is just uh, yes. giving you the ability to just draw some cards from your deck, right? Mm. If you if you already play a lot of uh, like tag teams, tag team, uh, tag whistle, tag team supporter, you might as well put something in that's just a little bit more consistency in yep. case everything else fails. Like you that's said, it. also the reason for like people play uh, one the Dene in some mm -hmm. ADP builds, just you have the fail safe. I don't want to have the fail safe, right? If everything else fails, just go Cherish Ball the Dene and... I want to play the cards. Pokemon card game. And look at that. Kim right now is looking a pretty sweet spot, but it's not really... I wouldn't say it's his doing. It's just Rats right now. He's just seeing so many cards, but none of them. Once again, Stellar Wish, and we see free cards that cannot so be It's targeted. a great catch on a reset stem. There's some great late no. game resources, but not what he needs right now. Where are your Mewtwo, Raz? Where are your Welders? He d does have the giant Tarf. If he had a Tug Call, maybe even, to just get yeah. started. Just get a Mewtwo and manually attached to reset it, maybe? Stamp. I like that. 
I do like that Kim had seven cards in his hand. He just attached, which was a bit weird. Didn't play anything else. Did not did any, which probably means Kim might have something in his hand. And I do yeah, like this play. Yeah, I I agree. It's fine. So Rats right now is staring down. Not a great game. He's uh, just he still has those two Jirachis. Next turn he will be able maybe with Malo and Lana once again to get two Stellar Wishes off. But is that what you want to do? It's not. It's really not. Kim draws six cards still. Let's see if there's anything sweet in there. As oh, finally Rats Rats puts a down a Mewtwo and is probably going to attach to just attach to it. And that's fair, that's fair. At the end, you, that Mewtwo can still be charged by hand. It's a feel-bad moment, but you still want to do it. Let's see what he wants to go for. Ooh, we're, are we going to see Lana. the GX from Greninja? No, it's just, just going to be the Jirachi. Jirachi. I do that's like fine. that. So, Rats even has the Megalopunny in hand, which he probably wants to discard at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and the Flip, whatever. Probably won't also, see that. there Let's are a lot see. of custom catchers. Wow, in free Kim's custom hand. catcher here. So he could get, like he could, Kim could try to work his way towards getting the first hit into. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh, oh, six oh, cards. Okay. That's, that's six fine. cards. That's okay, the, he caught it. Correct. Nice, good job. Oh, nice good mine Hala. <laughs> good mine Hala is there. You know what that means? That's a full blitz turn. One, yeah, two, two, sorry. Hala searching for the stadiums. We talked about yeah. it earlier. Get those cards that are hard so to search good. out. Especially like Thunder Mountain yeah. and Pikachu, so yeah. Ooh, let's see. He wants to discard a Volknair. I'm not sure I like that because that would mean uh, yeah. Volknair is a good follow-up for exactly. the, the follow for the next turn. Like yeah, uh, Marsh Shadow is fine. It can go yeah. because your opponent doesn't play any chaotic spell, yep. so you probably don't need so it. So let's see what he wants to discard. He could discard a catcher, but that maybe would Zero Aura one can game. go because he doesn't want to bench it, right? Uh, anyway, because yeah, so of the Mega Low Pony. I think it's a Zero Aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there is a Zero Aura, and I think that would be the play. But sometimes, maybe if you want to get off. Um, uh, right two, turn two. Mm -hmm. uh, that it would be good. Right okay, now I, to I can for also see the custom catcher mm -hmm. because then he still has l two left in his yeah. hand. And, and he also plays one copy of the great catcher. Yeah, yeah, we saw that earlier, right? Yeah. That came like the sheer amount of gust effects. Like usually decks only play two catcher effects, like either a double yes. custom catcher or two great catcher. But he's playing four custom catcher plus the one great catcher. It's like. You have a lot of flexibility with bringing yep. up your opponent's Pokemon. So there we see. Bang, bang, at bang. At attach escape board. Like, the Guzman Hala searched for everything, right? It searched yeah. for the escape board, the and Thunder that's Mountain, the power and the it. energy. As that's you said, really like, good. The, really the, good. The, the, the tag team supporters that we were saying before with Connor, they just brought us so much stuff. And look at that, Kim, Kim being very smart. He's attaching the free energies in the bench. So if this way for any shenanigans that uh, Picarum gets knocked out, he will be able to still have another attacker next for yeah. next turn. Just go the safe route and yeah. rest us in a really tough spot. I think they I mean run energy. If, if or no. Kim doesn't get the double custom catcher there, then rest is probably just like, yeah, okay, you knock out one Jirachi. It's, uh, it's That's fine. That's fine. But I'm not going to give you another single prize. Yeah, but this way Kim gets the first hit into the tag team. Yeah. And this is really, uh, mm. really rough. Yeah, oh, as actually there is the welder, probably from the top. And he drew the Charizard. He does oh, have the Charizard, and he can the Dene, and then at least get yeah. the reprise knockout. He does get free prizes, but what's next? Like, yeah. what is going to happen next? You know, the Tord build might be better in this aspect. Maybe with four Dedenes, you would not have the, the start, the Jirachis you saw. They're not very effective. I personally do not like the Jirachi. In me neither, me neither. Yeah, yeah, so we had a match uh, in our own time, and we saw that Jirachi sometimes gives you what you want, but sometimes it just doesn't yeah. and especially like you saw especially with the new meta a lot of pokemons a lot of energies jirachi loses its power before we had like guzma and we could have like used it at a pivotal point yeah but now let's see that's the true Dene. the Dene obviously grab like throw everything in the bin attach an energy attach the everything you don't need right yeah. and then oh, oh he's actually gonna touch an energy no it's just the hood, stealthy yeah. hood yeah. which doesn't really matter in this matchup, but yeah, put it down, give yourself an alternate There's attacker. There's the energy, that and can shows the Charizard. Kim is like, okay. Mm. Okay, very nice, very nice. Draw well six cards. They're all his Cherish Bones uh, and Two well Elders, but no way to find energies for next turn. I mean, he has an Acrobatic, so yeah. he can thin out a stake even more with Good a Cherish, cherish ball. ball. Yeah, Maybe one more Mewtwo, what do you say? I think that would be... The yeah, way to go. I, I mean, he has already set up a backup attacker, so maybe mm -hmm. you just put s you just grab something yeah. that you want to throw away eventually. Exactly, exactly. Megalopani can be played around, also but it's pretty hard. Grabbing one Mewtwo here is a really good play because yeah. it just, if you want to, you can venture it the next turn, but y you don't need to. You can just throw it away if you. Um, 
If you don't need it, like if you decide to, yes. yeah, I just need to do the and don't bench oh, anything. Look at how thin Rat's deck is. Even yeah. by just stellar wishing and getting one card each turn, he's still able to thin it out so much thanks to the um, what is it called, Giant Harf. Yeah, and the Giant, giant Harf is really helping. Yeah. Like it's really uh, Mewtwo is really relying on the stadium, yeah. grabbing the energies out of the deck because yeah. that's that's also why. We uh, saw some card. guy, uh, some some lists playing two Marshadows from Unbroken Bonds. I think Rez is actually playing. When I have a look Ooh. at the list, he's actually playing none Marshadow from Unbroken yes. Bonds. But some lists have playing, been playing two. So is Rats going for the attack perch? I don't think that's a bad play. It mm. is a smart uh, in this case. I mean, but he committed. He committed the fourth energy to the active. Yeah. So but now, I, if yeah. he attack perches after, we'll it would see. be kind of. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it thinking. would feel kind of wasted, right? Because yeah. then you only need to commit three energy. Yeah, I think it's going for the jacks. Yep, flip, and three hundred. Uh, I think it's called. F uh, I don't remember. Flare but it's three hundred. It's flare blitz jacks, it. I think. Four energy is three hundred. And people, when it came out, it came out. I think in this team decks in, uh, yeah, in Japan. Yeah, the bo Yeah, also what's the bonus set here? Yes. Hidden Fates expansion. Wasn't and that good? But then look at this. Kim it basically means you need one less welder, right? Exactly. And that's really good. Kim obviously right now is in a situation in which the opponent has three remaining prize cards. He might not expect a knockout this next turn. I don't think it's going to happen. But Tag Perch, if Raz is able to set up another of the Mewtwo's, that means that th we, will keep, uh, we will keep the game f maybe for longer because Kim needs catchers, but he just discarded one extra, which means he has just one Gust Yeah, there's only one deck. great catcher left in the stick. So. Yeah, it's not in the prizes, so it's going to be there. Kim as well has power access to Power Plant, um, but we'll see because yeah, he has Thunder Mountain Stamp in play. and Power Plant is uh, yeah. pretty effective versus it's Mewtwo. I, uh, I can confirm not. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mewtwo players do not <laughs> like Power Plant nor Stamp. And uh, Volkner, I think here is going to grab the stamp he's looking for his deck. I don't think there's any other valuable resources at the moment. Yep, Volkner. And you see, like, this is the Mewtwo deck to you. Maybe it started slowly, but one turn from another, if you commit too much on one single Pokemon, the Mewtwo deck is going to exploit that. They're going to leave you yeah. without no resources. Kim was... He was pretty aware. He yeah. didn't overcome it. But yeah. if you would, like, if you would, like, okay, if you'd be Reasons, like, yeah. okay, my opponent only has one energy, I just full blitz to be the active, and then it goes, yeah, yeah Welder, Charizard in this card, 300, then you would be, like, in a really tough spot. Yeah. But this way, Kim played around it. He saw the possibilities that could happen, and he adapted accordingly. So, indeed. So, Kim next turn could hypothetically win. If he draws the Volkner of the prizes, he has the great catcher. And that's going to mean that the GX for the Thunder Ride, I think it's called, mm -hmm. uh, from uh, um, Raichu and alone Raichu GX is going to steal off the game because it is it, uh, it deals can 250. One, it can one-shot the Mega Lopone, exactly, right? Yeah. Exactly. So Rats drew off his prizes, I think. Well, he, did not, he, did draw, he drew the cards he, uh, he needed. Switch, because this Volkner, is just two yeah. so. He did find the, the Volkner. Rats is eyeing up uh, Cherish Ball, I think. Acrobike, first of all. It's he wants to debate. find, yeah, that's yeah. he wants giant half right here because yeah. he had the Beautiful. welder in hand, right? Yep. Now he can, but yeah, you can't attack with the Megalopony right here yeah. because that would just seal off the game right because away. Yeah, that would seal the game. So Let's you see. need to set something else up. There's the second Dedene. Actually, he drew like uh, an Acrobike and a Cherish Ball off the Stamp to three, pretty so good. that's pretty nice. Tori I did mean, not play bikes, am I correct? I think so, yeah. yeah but yeah, uh, bikes are fine. But yeah. I, yeah, it's rather it's like you play um, like a fifty-six card deck. If you play like yeah. four bikes, it gives you more consistency. But if you have four the Dene, then it should be fine. You should be able <laughs> yeah, to you're find you're the Dene. Definitely fine. So <laughs> I see why um, decks with heavy the Dene, like the Mewtwo and the also the Abilities Art, yeah. um, have been dropping the bikes um, lately. So. Um, you know. To just to yeah. play cards that are more effective overall. It's always a bad card, you know. So that a change. Discarding. I think that's the last. Yeah. Rainbow, okay. He's actually. discarding the Ladios actually. So that did does find a welder. Does he have any energy left? He does play eight. He's sh he's he should yes, be one or two. Tag call. Let's take a look. He's holding his deck very fires. tight. Yeah. But yeah, there are two fires. So you you need to understand that these people are so much under pressure. Before it was <laughs> just rounds. You could have made. You could have let yourself have a mistake, but this is top eight. Yeah, We're top eight. It's, money it's all about winning it all, right? In exactly. The, the glory, the prizes. I like think it's fine to discard the rainbow energy with the Dene, mm -hmm. but yes. That's yes. like 
then you have no other option of yeah. um, going for attack purge. So indeed, indeed. So he has to probably go for turbo strike right here and yes. go for settle for a two shot. But then, even like if uh, Kim gets a single electro power, I believe yeah. uh, the Raichu will do 250 plus 30 for the E power and exactly, and that's gonna just clean one shot the Mewtwo. So, ooh, rats! You need to find some yeah, magic. Pro probably, maybe it would have been correct to just play a slower game mm -hmm. and maybe bench Latios, attach to Rainbow Turbo Energy, strike. and play then go the for way. <laughs> yeah, or like you bench the Latios, right? You attach to uh, Rainbow, yes. and then you welder to it, and then yes. you tech punch with the Latios. Uh, so yeah, I'm a Pikaron player, and I can tell you the best attack you can do is Stack Purge, especially now, so considering the Malone Lana as you can have. Um, well, Rad had a rough start, we need to say that. Yeah, like of, of course, of course. Rad was so unlucky in the beginning, and uh, he's, he's still doing something, and that, that, that's, yeah, that's he's amazing. Yeah, he's still, like, he is in a game that he could win, right? So yeah, exactly. He's just free prizes, that's just me knocking out one of those Pokemon, but how hard can it be to knock out those giant monsters? So the Jirachi actually needs to find a way to retreat, because they have so. Uh, if he wants to go, I mean, he can still manually attach, but yeah. I don't know Does if he, he has have an energy, energy in I hand. think I saw a weakness guard, but we'll see. Acrobike. Oh, it's never a good sign when you get Acrobike. <laughs> Only like a few cards left in deck, so he's running really low on resources right now. That's yeah. like the issue with the Mewtwo deck. Since you run so yeah. uh, many ways to just mill out your deck, yeah. you uh, can run out of uh, also run out of important yeah, it's resources. It's the candle that burns early. faster. Like it is very strong. Oh, reset stamp though. That's, oh, that's what massive. That was important. Massive. That was really important. But still, Kim put himself in a position where he can uh, just get into like even with the switching card or <laughs> just a tag call or anything, he can get into a Jirachi and then, and then keep Stella wishing to he finds a way to go for a game. So Let's see what Kim draws. If a Volkner is there, still needs an energy. I think he has one left in the deck, or maybe two or more. Let's see. Raz is considering the skateboard on just thinning out, I guess, his hand. And yeah. let's see if he has a way to retreat. I don't think there is there. Yeah, it just says pass. Which is sort of fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's fine to pass this turn. We see. Oh well, Kim hand looks pretty dead. To be fair, like it's uh, two energies with a wait and see hammer. There's a wait and see hammer. Like it's just gonna giant off it. This time it's like <laughs> coming back to uh, to bite and let's yeah. play because it's a card that you um yeah you only want to see on the first turn and then yes. after that it's it's like you play with the 59 card yeah. deck so so rats also is falling behind in terms of energies uh he played uh, like he discarded a lot at the beginning yeah there is a lot of it. like yeah. there's four because of the charizard jx yeah. attack and then some more that he discarded earlier so yes. yeah he really needs to manage his energies right so now Kim and but he can't also put the mutu active to turbo You're strike right. and accelerate You're stuff right. into play so it's it's really difficult. Yeah. Mewtwo, I mean, generally any deck right now that is successful, it's a deck that has comeback possibilities. A deck that, thanks to Reset Stamp, you also have that possibility. And Kim is just saying, well, okay. If you're Jirachi, not doing anything, I'm going to I'm take, going take a prize, mm. which means that the Dene could get knocked out for game, but yeah. also the uh, Megalopani. We'll see about that. Ki Kim, I think, has uh, two energy switches in hand. So if he does find an energy, he can full blitz and win. Uh, sorry, tag bolt for the full effect. Mm -hmm and win the game, but we'll see about that. Yeah, he must be pretty confident that Raz can't one-shot this active Pikazek, even yeah. though, like, it's a Mewtwo versus Pikazek. Like, usually mm -hmm. you would expect Mewtwo to be able to take a one-shot, but he yeah. has t he's probably taken a look at, like, what's what are the attackers that Raz mm -hmm. has access to? Like, he has probably sat next to him a few times. Yes. Maybe he maybe, the maybe they tables. even played each other. We don't yeah, know. Exactly. So he probably knows that uh, Res doesn't have yeah. access to that and many attackers fact, that can one shot. Yeah. So they're, yeah, they're actually no is one nothing shots. that can take a one shot. No Macargo, no, no Macargo. Yeah. Well, Rats has a, uh, still a massive hand. Kim was not able they to stamp probably him. Oh, that's a ra that's a rainbow. Yeah. So he can go for attack purge this turn. Which is pretty fair to be, uh, and he has also yeah, he catcher would put, to he follow puts up. He puts himself into a position where he could win on yep. the, like, not this turn, but on the next turn. Yep. Just do 120 right here, and then probably do, like, there are three great catchers. In yep. his, he one in his hand, and, and two, two in, in his deck. deck. So even if he gets reset stamp yep. down to three, it's gar probably exactly. guaranteed that he to will draw it. one. Mm -hmm. so he already has one, and if he gets stamped, you still have good chances. Yeah, At the same that's time, I mean, yeah. it's... I think he ran out of switches. I'm not sure, not 100%. But if he did, Kim can just paralyze him. 
and that's going to be troubles. He used oh, it for that's Shirima. actually really Ooh. smart. He's just saying, hey, I know you can paralyze me, so why don't we call here? Because Tandem Shock requires you to go from the bench to the active. Yes. Right channel on right two is a really strong card, but he has some, you know, some things that you must do. And uh, the Chaotic Swells yeah, well, but to him, bump a power plant yes. eventually if it and would come down. And Tuck Perch, 120. Yeah, take Perch. Draws for turn, Kim with, oh, I draw Volkner. Does he have it? Is the great catcher there? I think it is. It might be, it might be. And, and there it is. There is a great catcher, but and yeah. And the GX. Yeah, just GX full GX, 250. The, the and you see, yeah, Ross is really unhappy about that. Yes. I think, um, yeah. And Pino is saying, well, well played both. And well, what a game. Yeah, what a game. It was really, like, it was kind of heartbreaking to see Raz lose that yes. first game. I would have loved to see more games from exactly. these guys before. He's a very nice person as well. Yeah, both of them played it really well. Yes. And just the way the cards were dealt, it worked yeah. out better for Kim. You know, the Picaron deck did have this possibility of being very quick, but so does the Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. The Picaron deck has Tapu Koko, Thunder Mountain, which means turn two, 150, and move three more energies yeah, on the board. It balances, Set up it, balances it out really nicely, right? It has mm -hmm. a, a lot of early game strength mm -hmm. um, that you can use with the, like you, as you said, the early forwards, but it also has a very strong late game. So, yeah, yeah I really like that, that you have option bo options both in the early yep. game and in the mid game. And also Pica Picaron rewards smart play. Yes. And I think we maybe have time for a winner's for interview. interview. Yeah, with Kim. Since I know he speaks little English. So also, um, yeah. we have another winner for our Trevis. giveaway. Yeah, exactly. Um, Congratulations. The, win the winner is Boswell69. Um, yes. And yeah, we will message you on uh, on Twitch and yeah, just look at your, at your whispers. And we will be back very shortly yeah, with, with the winner's Kim's interview. interview. Thank you very much, and see you soon. See ya. Hello, and welcome back. We're here with uh, Kim Pobega. And, uh, well, you just won, and you're in top four now. How does it feel? I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to first translate it in English, then in Italian, because Kim speaks a little English, so everyone can understand. Come ti sei sentito a vincere questa partita? Prima top 4 a un regionale? Sollevato. Okay. You feel is it feeling relieved, quite minimal, I would say. And uh, when you sat down, what did you think you, was the match? Because it was Mewtwo. It's, it's the big deck. Like you can, you know, it's pretty bad when they get just the 300 damage and you have nothing on board. So, what was your game plan when you sat down? Um, contro Mewtwo, sono in grado di farti troppi danni mm -hmm. early game. Quando ti sei seduto, cosa hai pensato? Uh, match up difficile. È favorevole per lui, però. Io dalla mia ho stampe plante e punto mm -hmm. su quelle, ma non mi è servito. <laughs> so he's saying that obviously you have stamp and plant, uh, it's always helpful. Uh, it, Mewtwo uh, does, it's a worse matchup, he says, probably something 40 60, I'd yeah. say. And uh, at the same time, it's, it's a big deck, it's always threatening to go against it. But what brought you to bring Picaram, a deck that was considered dead up until now? To regional big as this. Perché hai portato Picaron quando era morto? Perché odio Green e Welder. <laughs> <laughs> so he says because he hates Welder and Green. So me and Kim are friends. You saw that from my commentary how much I dislike Green. And at the same time, uh, um, I guess you didn't expect any like uh, Guard of War running the Lining Charm. And you didn't expect any like uh, weird decks. So what did you actually lose against in this uh, whole tournament, in these 14 rounds? Contro cosa hai perso? Uh, contro Mewtwo mm -hmm. e contro Fossil. Yeah, why? Why did you lose against those? Like against Mewtwo? Uh, contro Mewtwo ho perso per il, su per il mio stamp, ha mm -hmm. trovato the damage su stamp da 1. E contro Fossil ho perso per il suo stamp da 5 e non ho trovato lo stamp per bloccare. Yeah, so Kim is just saying that stamp basically messed up all of his game. Because uh, against a player that uh, was playing Mewtwo, he stamped him to 1 and he drew to Dene. And instead, uh, against Fossils, he got stamped to fire and drew nothing. So, you know, hand disruption is so good. Do you think Picarom is one of those decks that can exploit it to the maximum and uh, does not suffer from it? Pensi che Picarom sia in grado di usare al meglio hand disruption e che sia immune di per sé? Generalmente sì, penso sia il mazzo migliore perché può fare tutte le giocate in un turno solo. 
Okay, so Picarom is, uh, is saying that is a deck that is, can compress so many plays in a single turn. And that's basically all of its strength. Setting up all those energies, right? It's so good. You just want to play for it. So what do you want to go against right now? You know the other matches, right? We have some PJ Autos, some Blacephalon. What do you want to go against? Contro cosa vuoi andare? Uh, Prossimi round. Penso Blacephalon sia il migliore. He wants to go to Blacephalon. Obviously, Tag Bolt, cleaning up two Pokemons. Yeah. You will probably bench them out. Well, Kim, thank you very much. Is there anyone you want to say bye to? Vuoi dire ciao a qualcuno? No, nessuno. No, nessuno. A te. Ciao. Uh, ciao. <laughs> ciao. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. See you.